Hello everybody, Galarian Sangvi here, and welcome to the next episode. Now, without further waiting, let's see the boss of Team Rocket. Right, you can't wait to, wait to get where it's going. I agree, let's confront Team Rocket. Just one look at the Sylph scope, and, and it's plain to see. Sylph Cove definitely has technology and skill to team. Skill. But uh, Team Rocket will need to make our wishes come true. Hmm. A machine that lets you uh, that lets you see what otherwise cannot be seen. It's nothing but a useless toy. Still. Yes, this could do. Carry on, Archer. With your plans to take over Silphco over Team Rocket. Yes, sir. What is a child doing here? You listen in our conversation without saying a word? I don't care much, much for that. I am Archer, an admin of Team Rocket. And I will not go easy on it on even children. Archer! The Team Rocket Executive! If or admin in as he's known in this. Yes! You are not wrong! This is the very same Archer from Heart Gold and Soul Silver! Archer is exclusive to Pokemon Let's Go. He was an addition they added to Let's Go. Oh, to help tie in the events of Heart Gold and Soul Silver. Given that he leads Team Rocket, Rocket during that time. And oh, it knows Dark Pulse. This is not a good battle. But yes, Archer. Archer as an admin. This would caught many people by surprise, even though not a lot of people played this game. Many people who didn't play this game was caught by surprise by word of mouth. Of that Archer was in this game. He's the only ex he's the only executive to have an admin status in Pokemon Let's Go. The other three do not exist in Let's Go. But let's end this battle quickly. Or get crunched. Uh, let's bring out Pyra. I'm going to revive Raichu so Raichu still gets the experience. And I got plenty of revives. I'm not in a state state where I need to buy revives yet. It's just I forgot how how sturdy a lot of uh of his Pokemon is, especially since they're roughly around my level. Down goes Golbat. Be a Team Rocket admin archer. What a blunder! F forgive me, Giovanni! For me to be defeated by a simple child! I'm going to save before this battle, because I'm not too confident on some of my Pokemon's levels. Also, I'll give, um... Raichu and Pyre a heal. Ah, stop mashing the button. Here is the boss Team Rocket itself. So, you defeated Archer. I wonder if I should use this for the thumbnail. Or should I use Archer as the thumbnail? I must say, I am impressed you got here. Team Rocket captures Pokemon from around the world. They are important tools for keeping our criminal enterprise going. I am the leader of this enterprise, Giovanni. What? You want me to release the Cubone? Ma! Ma! Foo ha 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 ha! You came bar barging into our hideout just for that. What an amusing child. But, for your insolence, you will feel a world of pain. 
And here's our next battle, Giovanni, the leader of Team Rocket himself. He's going to start out with Persian. Pretty much his signature Pokemon and... I just had a dawning revelation. I think this Persian may know Dark Pulse. So I'm going to get Raichu out of there. Did I call it right? Okay, he used Faked Out, so it wouldn't even matter. Fake Out makes you flinch no matter what, but it can only be used on the first turn of, of, of when the Pokemon is out. Um, to get you healed up. Time to do the burn and fusion combo. So we're gonna get it confused. Then we'll follow with a burn. I'm gonna heal. That should cut back its physical attack on me. Um, yeah, let's use one of my hyper potions. Fill the bits. But as long as it's not attacking me, I'm okay. But I do think his Persian does know Dark Pulse. I'm gonna have to look it up at like Celebi Net or Bubblegar no, Bubble Garden probably the more reliable uh, website for moves. Because I do think his Persian does know Dark Pulse. Or at least a Dark Move. Move of some kind, like Bite or Crunch. Rhyhorn. Okawedo is going to be taking this front. Because Okawedo should easily destroy this Rhyhorn. I'll be impressed if she doesn't take it out. And down it goes. What? This can't... This can't be it? Why'd I add it into that sentence? It should be, this can't be. And Cubone's evolving. Now, I kept this Cubone on the team for a little while. I am not making this a team member, but I do need to be a Marowak to show what I want to show. You Cubone evolved into Marowak. Small and weak, this small and weak? This Pokemon is adept with the Bone Club. It grows more vicious over the ages. Sword stance, no. So I too am defeated by a child. Do as you wish with the cu with that Cubone. Ma! And take this as my apology for mocking you as a child. We got the Silph Scope. Now, you could have come... Now, mention, remember how I mentioned in the original and the remake, you could come here to get the key item, but in Let's Go, you have to climb the tower a little bit. This is the key item we need. I can see you raise Pokemon with utmost care, but you would never understand what I hope to achieve. I'll s I shall step aside this time. 
but I hope we meet eat and battle again. Ma ma. Cubone headed back to Lavender Town. Maybe with the Silsco, you'll be able to find out the identity of that ghost. The ghost that we never saw. Cubone seems to have gone home on its own. Why don't you get out of here, too, and try and figure out how to use that Silph Scope? Oh, or something. We will, Archer. We will. Let's go to the first floor. And make our way out. To the game corner! But now, there's something special out here. There's a strange vehicle with a bunch of balloons attached to it. And also, Pyro can finally come out of her Pokeball. And these two particular embassies have the tendency to talk to you with the microphones. Oh, you're curious, aren't you? You're curious about me and this machine. Do you want to know the details? Why, yes. Okay, if you insist, this machine is a great vehicle that follows you to fly in the sky. It's a marvelous invention, if I do say so myself. It's not an exaggeration to say that this is my secret technique. Even though I've worked really hard on this, nobody wants to try it. You seem to be a courageous young boy. I'll tell you how to ride this machine in the secret technique Sky Dash. Oh, that Eevee wants to fly my invention instead of you. Great, it matches my inspiration perfectly. All right, let's get right to it. Do this and that, hold on, th hold this handle and pull. Then that will be, then it will be like that. And with these balloons, you're in the air! Everline learned the secret technique, Sky Dash. You Sky Dash and you can fly to any town you've been to. You can select play with Everline, da 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 da. You can, you, you can have this machine. You, da da da. you can have this machine, so be sure to enjoy many trips through the sky. Well, let's try out Sky Dash. After a little play session with Eveline. Eveline is overjoyed, it's hopping up and down. So some pets for Eveline. Now, Eveline, let's try Sky Dash. You have to go into this menu to use it. And like it says, anywhere we have previously been, we can fly to. Uh, except here. Although I believe in the original and in the remakes, you could fly to Rock Tunnel and Mount Moon. And let's go, they stripped that. But let's fly to Lavender Town. Take a convenient shortcut. You rescued that Cubone from Team Rocket? Wow, that's pretty amazing! Take these as a thank you. 20 great balls. I bet someone um, brave like you could go up to the Pokemon Tower, no problem. Oh, I love the Lavender Town theme. I might be able to get in the one or two battles in the Lavender Town, uh, Lavender Town in the Pokemon Tower. So we will start climbing it. Hope to see you again. Now I just want to check, can we get great ball great balls ultra balls yet? Yes we can! I'm going to stock up on plenty of them. 
We get some premier balls. Do, 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 do. So now let's head for the Pokemon Tower and look who's in front of the tower. So that Cubone's mom. That's right. Team Rocket keeps on going after Marowak so it can sell those skulls they, prof they wear for profit. I think Cubone is looking for its mother, those, even though she's gone. I just can't forgive that Team Rocket. Me neither. I saw Cubone he heading into the tower a little while ago too. I'll go, I will go and look for it and keep an eye out for, the, for that Mr. Fuji too, the one that, and who's been missing. Thank you and be careful. I re really don't like ghosts, but I gotta do this. Ah, Sagby! Nice timing! You've, you've caught most of that, right? What do you say? Wanna come with me? Of course. Th thanks, pal. It will be a gr big relief to have you. I will just let you lead the way, okay? Ready when you are. I'll be right behind you, so don't worry, I got your back. Welcome back to the Pokemon Tower. Now we can be able to do things in the Pokemon Tower we couldn't do previously. And I wanted to very least show this off before we come near the end of the episode. So these goats! If you try to climb up here this hour and let's go, these ghosts, if they get you, you get warped back to the, to, I think, the previous floor or this tower. Urk! Do, do you really think these ghosts are in here? Huh? Sagby, what's that? The Sylph go of reveals the ghost's true form! And they're Pokemon! Wh whoa! That's crazy, so these ghosts were actually Pokemon? And here's something really creepy about Pokemon on Tower. Look at that! The Channelers! You may not know this, but the Channelers are possessed. And oddly enough, I think they're possessed by the Pokemon they're using. And uh oh, I forgot Raichu is in the lead. Uh oh, switch to Akawedo. So we'll at least do a battle, battle or two. Willowis. That's a bad time for Akawedo since he's since she's a physical attacker. Uh, sucker Punch. Now these channelers are like level 25 or so, so you, so they are a little bit under leveled for where we are now because I went to Team Rocket. Ah, uh, unsaved. I heard that ghosts can be identified with uh, with the Sylph Scope. Please pick up the item. Awakening. Which is kind of odd finding this item in a grave site. Alright, when you think about it. Ghost type Pokemon aren't actually that scary, so keep going. Um, I think we'll end things here. So, in the next episode, we will climb the Pokemon Tower. See you all next time.